key tech made by DCM back in 2009, I believe. Um, I guess it wasn't one of the more popular ones. But yeah. Um, the D10 was made in 1977 by CAT. Um, they did have prototypes before that, but it's been on their test fields and they started producing them in 1977. That was the biggest builder they had on their line at that time. Um, pretty much this is probably one of the 70s or early 80s ones. I don't exactly know, but it's got the old Pac-Man logos and stuff like that. Um, and as you guys know, I've loved CCM models over any other models out there. Um, still, the 390 is still my favorite one of all the CCM so far. But, hey, what can you do? But, um, here we all go with the model review of the Cat D10. Um, as you can see, it's nicely made. It's got the U-blade on it. The single shank ripper, which you do have to put on when it comes in the box. It's held in by a pin. It's easy and easy. It's got all the hope. It's got all the hoses. Uh, let's see, it's got fire suppression kit on it. It's got all the gra metal grab rails. Uh, it's got the nice, clean, crisp T10 cat logo on it. All of its clean, all the logos and all the stickers are nice, clean, crisp. Like I said, um, they took a real attention to detail here. As you can see right in here, the notch clip for the operator. It's got the little step right there. It's got some nice mesh work right here. Um, the engine's plastic. It's got the little hoses and stuff on it. You got the grill you can see through. You can see the shadow on the side over there. blade goes up, goes up and down, it can hold any position, it is really stiff though, the hydraulic so, you can tell, but you can also twist the blade at any angle like this, uh, let's see here, the blade angles, which is really nice, so it can hold it's really stiff, so it can hold any position. Uh, let's see, it's got this, it's got nicely detailed sprocket. It's like really, really nicely detailed. It's also got track textures. Now let's see here. Also, the trash. Do move like that for any type of movement. The ripper. It's got three different holes for it for the for the ripper right here. Um, can hold any position. It's got all the nice hoses in there. Right in there. It's got nice gap detail. It's got some nice moldings on it to make it look real. Uh, let's see here. The front, you can see some of the controls. They're sitting right here. Those were pretty big for the steering back then of the machine. And on the other side, you can see that. But let's see here. The controls are sitting low on here on the inside. And the rear. So, all in all, I, and I also got to do the track test here. On the test track here, it doesn't slide, but it rolls nice here, 